Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our News Watch unit today. We're going to be talking about a couple of items that have been in the news recently. One is about something called a biodegradable bottle, which means it can go back to the ecosystem. It won't stay there for thousands of years. And then the other story is about a famous anime director by the name of Isao Takahata. He has passed away. At the age of eighty-two. Wow! But he made a lot of great films, which some of our listeners will recognize when we talk about some of the titles. Right now, though, guys, we're going to read both of the news stories, and then we'll talk about them. New biodegradable bottle is made of algae. Over three hundred million tons of plastic products are made every year. Most are thrown away after being used once, and they can take centuries to decay. That sounded crazy to Icelandic design student Ari Jonsson, so he designed a biodegradable water bottle made of agar. Agar is derived from algae and commonly used as a gelatin substitute. Jonsson discovered that it can be mixed with water to make a jelly, and then poured into an ice cold mold. After being refrigerated for a few minutes, the new bottle is ready to be filled up. It keeps its shape until it is empty. You can even eat the bottle if you're hungry. Yansan hopes his design will help reduce plastic pollution. He isn't the only designer interested in algae either. Agar has been used to produce yarn, siding for homes, and even as a power source. Who knows how environmentally friendly designs will continue to change the world in the future? Studio Ghibli co-founder dies at 82. Isao Takahata, one of Japan's most famous animation directors, has died aged 82. He worked on over 20 films and co-founded Studio Ghibli, Japan's most famous anime company. Takahata became interested in anime in university. In 1968, he directed his first film, Horus, Prince of the Sun, which was praised for its style and depth. In 1985, Takahata and his friend Hayao Miyazaki formed Studio Ghibli. Many of its films became worldwide successes. Takahata's most famous film was Grave of the Fireflies. It is about two children trying to survive after their mother is killed during the bombing of Tokyo. It was influenced by his childhood memories of the raids on Japan during World War II. He also made Palm Poco, which tells the story of a group of magical raccoon dogs defending their homes from developers. His last film, the gorgeously animated The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, was nominated for an Oscar in 2015. Takahata's films were notable for their beauty and emotional effect. And his death is a great loss to the animation world. Okay, everybody, it's time now to discuss the contents of today's lesson. Remember, it's News Watch, so we've got a couple of news stories to talk about here. One is about biodegradable plastic, or at least this is a new biodegradable bottle that is made of algae.、Mm. Now, here we've got the word biodegradable, which means basically it can return to the ecosystem if it's、uh, discarded, or if somebody just throws it out the window of their car, or if it lands in a field or something. Eventually, it will turn back into dirt and can be used by the ecosystem once again. Plastic is not biodegradable. It takes thousands of years for it to break down, so it's not good for the environment. You want to have things that are biodegradable, like food, for example. That, of course, will decay and return to the ecosystem, but not plastic bottles. So this is a new bottle that is made of algae. To me, is some kind of plant that grows in water. It's a very simple kind of plant, and alga is the singular. But because they're so small, we almost never hear the word alga. It's always algae in the plural. Again, it's kind of a plant that comes from the ocean. Yeah, there's a similar word like that, media. 
That's actually the plural form. The singular form is medium, but we hardly ever use it unless we're talking about art. Typically, what medium is he using? Always、oh, using oil paints, something like that. So it's kind of an interesting word, algae. So we've got a lot of plastic pollution. I was just thinking as you were talking, Tom,、yeah. whether we had, you know, bottles of water. That were being sold in convenience stores. Like I grew up with Circle K, which、okay. is like a Seven Eleven. I never went into a store and bought a bottle of water.、Mm. I know they had the five gallons that we put on top of a dispenser, but yeah. So just think about all the plastic bottles that have been produced for people. I buy them all the time. So yeah. Come to think of it, when I was a kid, you could buy soda, you know, pop right, you know, in cans pop. and bottles and stuff.、Juice. But、uh, yeah, water, bottled no, water. That's weird. Yeah, we usually drank it from the tap. Although、uh -huh. they say that's probably bad because fluoride is actually bad for you or something like that. But nowadays, bottled water is quite common, but unfortunately, it is made of plastic.、Mm. And here it says in the first paragraph, over 300 million tons of plastic products are made every year. Yeah. So we're not just talking about plastic bottles; we're talking about all sorts of plastic products. Yes, for food, but for other things, toys. Automobile parts, etc. They are all made out of plastic, and this is a large number here. Three hundred million tons. They are produced every year. Wow! So here it says most are thrown away after being used once. Typically, that's true. Although I will refill my water bottles if they're a good size. I tend to hold on to them. I wash them out and fill them up again. The problem with being used once is they can take centuries to decay. To decay is a process where something just becomes spoiled and rotten over time, and then it slowly decomposes and turns into something that、uh, usually smells horrible. <laughs> so,、mm. if something's decayed, we'll also say it's decayed. It's rotting. R o t t i n g. It's rotting. When someone passes away, when someone dies, and we bury them. In the soil, the dirt, their body decays over time, and that happens through a process of bacteria, little bugs getting in there. So it's kind of hard on the planet that we have all this plastic pollution. Right here, of course, decay is being used as a verb. It can、yeah. also be used as a noun. For example, tooth decay.、Oh. If you don't brush your teeth often enough, or if you eat too many sweets, you will have tooth decay, or you will get cavities. We could also talk. Talk about the decay of Western civilization.、Mm -hmm. Lots of people think that someday Western civilization is going to fall, but here it's being used again as a verb. And yes, plastic takes a long time to decay, to biodegrade, to return to the ecosystem. And that sounded crazy to Icelandic design student Ari Jonsson. So he designed a biodegradable water bottle made of agar. Of course, Iceland is a very progressive country. Lots of people want to go there to see their geysers and to see the Northern Lights. It's a very popular tourist destination these days. And of course, the Icelandic people are very progressive. They are concerned about the environment. So we've got this design student there by the name of Ari Jansson, and he thought,、mm, "This is insane. This is crazy. All those plastic products that will take centuries to decay. I want to make a difference." So he designed a A biodegradable water bottle made of agar. And、Crazy. agar, what、mm. is that? Well, in the next paragraph here, it says agar is derived from algae and commonly used as a gelatin substitute. So we did talk about algae early on. Again, that's a very simple plant that grows in water, lakes, rivers, maybe the ocean, and you can use it for various things. It's actually used as a gelatin substitute. Gelatin is stuff that makes food kind of stiffish. I guess like jelly, you know, gelatin desserts like Jello. That's a gelatin dessert. But sometimes I guess gelatin can be a little bit expensive, so they use agar as a substitute. And again, agar is derived from algae. To be derived from means they get it from algae. They use some chemical process to get the agar from algae. Okay, if you're a substitute, guys, you take the place of someone else or something else. Some of us know that sometimes teachers get sick at school and they bring in substitutes, which we then have a good time with and tease. But you can also use it as a verb. You can substitute this for something else. A lot of people on diets will substitute sugar. 
for like stevia or something that kind of flavors it, makes it sweeter. I don't like it, but there are lots of food substitutes as as well as. Real people substitutes. Now, Janssen discovered that it can be mixed with water to make a jelly, and then poured into an ice cold mold. If you pour something, you take something. It's usually in a container, and you tip it, and it's a liquid, and it comes out easily. You can pour water into a glass. You can pour a soda into a glass as well. So he poured it into a mold. A mold is a shape that's solid. It's usually made out of plastic or some sort of metal. Metal that you can bake in the oven. We'll often use molds to bake cakes into cute shapes. Well, he used a mold to pour his mixture. Remember, it's a jelly. He poured that jelly into his mold, and it's ice cold, so it's very cold. Mold, of course, is the American spelling. M O U L D is the British spelling. So keep that in mind if you're going to London. And so, yes, he pours it into a mold that is ice cold. It's already really cold, and after being refrigerated for a few minutes, the new bottle is ready to be filled up. So it's got to be kept cool for a few minutes, and then you can put some kind of drink in that bottle. Yep, and you got to keep it cold because it's forming that shape. And once you take it out of the mold, which they do, it holds its shape or it keeps its shape. You can use either phrase: hold its shape, keep its shape. It doesn't change its shape until it's empty, which is crazy. The first time I saw this, I was like, "Wow, I'd like to see this." So this agar is really useful in making bottles. You can even eat the bottle. If you're hungry, I don't think I'd want to though. <laughs> Might be interesting to try, and I wonder if they make the cap from the same、huh. substance. Well, here, following paragraph, it says Janssen hopes his design will help reduce plastic pollution. Of course, we know pollution is stuff in the environment that really isn't supposed to be there: air pollution, water pollution,、yeah. noise pollution, etc. He isn't the only designer interested in algae either. So, lots of other designers like algae too. Agar, which again is Derived from algae has been used to produce all sorts of stuff. Yarn, if you're doing some knitting, you、uh -huh. use yarn to make a sweater.、Mm -hmm. Siding for homes, that's like on the side of a house. I remember them trying to sell aluminum siding a long time ago. I don't know if they do that anymore. And agar has been used to produce yarn and siding, as I said, and even as a power source. Gee, you can use it、really? to、uh, charge your phone or something like that. Wow, it's kind of crazy. So our author here signs off by saying, "Who knows how environmentally friendly designs will continue to change the world in the future? We've got a lot of bright people out there looking to help the planet and coming up with some really cool designs. So it's going to be fun to watch this particular bottle. I hope we see it on the market soon. I'd like to buy one just to try it. Might be interesting.、Yeah. Okay, that brings us to the midway point. Let's、uh, hear from our Chinese teacher now, and then we'll move on to our next news item. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today we're going to look at the third unit. Hey, we're using the bottle of pink. Is it possible to use biodegradable? 这样的材质做成可以分解的瓶子呢？因为我们知道塑胶这样子的垃圾造成的影响很大，所以呢，有一个发明，它是希望呢，如果我们用这种用生物可以分解的这样的材质，那做成的瓶子不就不会造成垃圾的问题了吗？好，那我们看这一段里，它有一个 after being used once。如果我看到 after， 要记得，这是一个介系词哦。本质上的介系词呢，后面即使你接被动，你碰到的被动 be 动词要改成 b e i n g。所以呢，当他说被用掉之后就丢弃，好，这里的 b e i n g 是要保留的。它跟一般我们看到的分词构句，如果是被动的 be 动词，直接省略，只放 p p 这样的用法不一样。因为 after 记得它跟 before 一样，它的本质上是一个介系词。虽然说它也可能有一个当连接词的功能，后面接一个完整的子句，不过。如果是碰到动词的话，就回归到介系词的用法。好，那我们提到呢，这个环保的瓶子，它用的材质呢是 agar，agar 就是
洋菜，它是用洋菜做成的。那我们知道洋菜呢，基本上是源自海藻，也就是所谓的 algae， 可以把它作为一种明胶的替代品。不过我们知道它怎么用呢？他说，它这个制造过程制造好之后呢，在冷藏以后才能够用，才能拿来装水。好，一样的，我们看到这边 after being refrigerated， 冷藏过后。刚刚提到的 after 就是一样的用法，后面被动你的 b e i n g 是要保留的。好，那提到说这个瓶子既然它是所谓的洋菜制造而成，其实说起来，如果你真要饿了，把它吃掉也没有关系。这也就是它有趣的地方。那再来呢，后面这一段他就说，这位发明人呢、哦，他希望说他的设计可以减少塑胶的污染。不过他也不是唯一的一位想到这个点子的，因为其实啊、哦，洋菜它一直以来就可以拿来做很多的东西。这边提到做的东西里头还。讲到一个是 siding for homes， 什么叫 siding？ 其实就是指你住宅的墙板，这个当墙的这个板面。好，所以呢，我们可以知道，嗯，这真是个环保的好东西。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 他是一个日本最著名的动画导演，他已经去世了，所以动画呢，就是电视剧，电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就是电视剧，就 Yeah, so he has died. He passed away in April, actually, and he died at the age of eighty-two. He'd worked on over twenty films and co-founded a very famous studio called Studio Ghibli. The English word for this is very similar to the Japanese that Tom looked up. Tom studying Japanese,、mm. so that's where that word comes from. It really isn't a real English word. It's just sort of a transliteration. They're trying to get as close as they can to the Japanese word itself, and it's Japan's most Famous anime company, and you know if it's Japan's most famous anime company, it's probably the world's most famous anime company. They do a lot of anime, anime, which is fun. I'm not into it, but、uh, I consider these folks very, very gifted, very talented. So let's talk about his background, shall we? We shall indeed. So Takahata became interested in anime in university when、yeah. he was a university student. So way back in 1968. He directed his first film, *Horus, Prince of the Sun*, which was praised for its style and depth. You might have seen it; it had a great style. Probably, it hadn't been done like that before by other films, even by Disney. And it had some depth—a、yeah. good story.、It、wasn't just a stupid cartoon movie、yeah. about、uh, you know coyotes getting bashed over the head with rocks and stuff like that. No, it actually had some depth. It had a good story. Yeah, if you say someone has depth, it means They consider the important things of life. They don't just, you know, they're not、uh, shallow. That's the opposite of having depth is being shallow. So his films had a message about life and how to be happy. So he was praised for his style and the fact that his films. Had something important to convey or to give to the audience. In 1985, Takahata and his friend Hayao Miyazaki. 
He's the one I've heard of. Formed Studio Ghibli, and many of its films became worldwide successes. If it's worldwide, it means it's successful all over the world. A lot of people got into it. I know that the first time I saw Miyazaki's name, I realized, oh, I'd seen pictures of his characters around. So this is a pretty famous duo, you could say, who started the studio. And they've had success all over the world.、Mm. And here in the next paragraph, it says Takahata's most famous film was Grave of the Fireflies.、Huh. Okay, you might have to do a Google search for that <laughs> to find out how to say that in Chinese. What is this movie about? Well, it is about two children trying to survive after their mother is killed during the bombing of Tokyo. Of course,、Aww. during World War II, lots of Japanese cities were bombed. Tokyo was fire bombed. It was not a nuclear bomb like Hiroshima and Nagasaki Just were. Just regular bombs. Regular bombing, but lots of people died in Tokyo,、yeah. and lots of the buildings were made out of wood, and they all burned to the ground. That's why nothing was left afterwards. But the mother was killed. And the kids survived, and so the movie is about them trying to survive after the tragic death of their mother. Oh, now I can see why they say he had depth. So he's influenced by his childhood memories of the raids on Japan during World War II. Usually, authors, any sort of artist that produces something artistic, usually they're basing it on something in their own personal lives.、It、usually, is a lot more successful because they're so close to that feeling or that.、Memory. Memory and his were his childhood memories actually influenced this movie. Childhood just means the years between the time you were born until you were. I would say even in high school you're still a child. So the、mm. time until you're eighteen, eighteen to us is considered to be an adult. So he had memories of the raids. Those raids referred to when military from other countries would suddenly attack, and there wasn't enough time to even get away and prepare. Yes, mostly American bombing raids on cities in Japan during World War II. He also made Pom Poco, which tells the story of a group of magical raccoon dogs、uh -huh. defending their homes from developers. A developer, <laughs> of course, is somebody、That's、who、great. wants to build a new luxury apartment building、yeah. or something、a、like that. A community, maybe, of homes, lots of homes. Developers are、yeah. very busy in Taiwan, especially.、Yeah. And magical means well, they're relating to magic. These raccoon dogs have magical. Powers like magicians, <laughs> and they're so magical and have so much magic. They're able to defend their homes from people. These developers are people, but remember, we're talking about raccoon dogs. Now, if you defend yourself or defend somebody else, you're helping to protect someone from harm or danger. So here, they're protecting their own homes from these developers who probably want to, you know, tear everything down and then rebuild. That's what develop. Do now his last film, the gorgeously animated The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. Sounds good to me, Kaguya. <laughs> I'm not、yeah. good with Japanese. It was nominated for an Oscar in 2015, so it was beautiful to look at. That's why they're saying gorgeously animated here. And if you're nominated, it means someone has suggested your name as a possible person for a job or an award. If you ever watch the Oscars, the Academy Awards, people are nominated. Nominated for like best director, best actress, stuff like that. So it didn't win, but it was nominated, which is something、yeah. to write home about.、That's、cool. But again, it was gorgeously animated. Lots of those movies are very nicely animated. They show Japan with the fields and railroads and villages and stuff like that. I think the、uh, actual movies look better than real life. I don't know.、Ways. Japan's pretty beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well, they do a pretty good job in the、yeah. movies making Japan. Look like a great place, but in any case, here it's gorgeously animated. And Takahata's films were notable for their beauty and emotional effect. And his death is a great loss to the animation world. So his films are notable for that. Notable means they're known for that. That's a special point that you need to point out. Hey, it's notable because they do have that beauty and they do have that emotional effect, which probably means it makes you cry or something like that. You really relate to. The characters, or relate to different things, who have yearnings for something. As a result, they're emotional. They make you angry. They make you cry. They make you sad. 
Yeah. So his films have not only been acclaimed for how beautiful they are, but the message that they contain in them. Right now, guys, it's just about time to listen once again to our Chinese teacher. 好，我们继续来看另外一篇文章。有一位日本动画大师，他的名字叫高田勋。也许呢，你听过的是另外一位，也就是他的好伙伴宫崎骏。其实他们两位是一起成立了吉普利工作室的主要角色。那我们再来看看，一开头就说他是日本最知名的。动画片导演之一。好，我们在名字后面，有时候你为了要说明这个专有名词可以是一个人或是地点，不管你要解释说明它的时候，你用逗点隔开一个，其实是一个同位语。就像他这边写的 ，One of Japan's most famous animation directors， 他过世。这个消息。大家知道了，那要提到他在动画界上面所有的作品跟重要的影响。这边提到好几个作品，大家可能对英文名字不太熟，但是这些作品呢，如果翻成中文你就听过了。比如说像《太阳王子》、霍尔斯的《大冒险》。提到这个动画片，注意到文法，它后面有个逗点，逗点在写 which was praised for its style and depth。注意到了，当你是专有名词，人名也好，地名也好，后面的逗点，像这边是动画名称，一定是要加逗点，因为这是非限定用法，再接 which 用来修饰跟说明。那当然，这是补充说明用的。这个动画是他指导的第一部。动画电影，我们再来看有一部《萤火虫之墓》。哎，也许你也听过，但是在说明这一个动画电影的时候，说到 two children trying to survive， 这个地方的 trying 当然就是指 who try。你可以把它变成一个关系子句，它用来修饰这两个小孩子想做什么。好，你改成了 trying， 就是一个分词的结构了。这样的结构可以让句子。变得更精简。那我们再来看一下，有一部《Palm Poco》平城离合战，这个电影它一样的，再加逗点，再写 which， 这个就是一个关系子句。最后面还有一部电影叫做。《灰药机物语》，他提到这一部动画电影，然后讲到说，他呢得到了奥斯卡金像奖的提名。当你说一个人或一个电影他被提名，你用到 nominate 这个动词 was nominated for。还有后面另外一个介系词也是一样用 for 的，就是当你提到电影是以什么而闻名 ，were notable for。注意到了，这里也是介系词的 for。好，我们今天讲解就到这边结束。我们下次见。That is it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. And here's hoping that all of your news is good news from all of us here at English Digest. I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie.、Goodbye. Bye.